all my friends and fiends and welcome back to another Cinderville exploration of the cool. Oh, the Halloween air is all over us. We go to stores and oh, even any little place. I got another little skull cup. Mm. Ah, uh, that one's for alcohol. This one's for water. Mmm. Oh, uh, they're beautiful. They're cute. I just got them at the dollar store. But what we're here to do today is to talk about the Vampira brush set. Now, I know if you're on Facebook, you've seen probably seen this collection and here is the picture on the internet. And now dun, ba, dun, ba, dun, ba, dun, ba, dun. I have them right here does the picture for the product. Why don't we just find out together? Come to me. <laughs> All right. When I originally got this package, there was also individual uh, holders with each of the brushes, but I took those ones off so that uh, they could fluff out a little bit. Okay, let's just take our first look at them. And, uh, yeah, I mean, I'm trying to look in different lights. I mean, I do seem to think that they have, like, the the reddish black, I mean, and, and two bright lights, I mean, anything kind of gets bleached out, but, I mean, they are still very pretty. Let's go through them one by one. Uh, this seems to be the biggest one. Uh, that would probably be for your powder or uh, contour. I don't really see this being a brush for liquid foundation, but you could try. If, if that's your thing, go on ahead and give it a try. Uh, this looks like a nice angled brush, uh, good for highlighting. Once again, good for contouring, blush, anything like that. And uh, let's see, well, these ones are very similar, but this one has a rounded tip, and this one has a very flat tip. So. You know, as with makeup and makeup brushes, it's kind of just an experimentation of seeing which ones work for you and how you do your makeup and how it goes on, what products you're using. There's uh, an infinite amount of variables. So yeah, either one of these could work for a highlight, contour, blush, Da, 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 da. <laughs> All right, let's see this one. Uh, this one looks to be in the family, but it's uh, a roundabout kind of brush. Uh, packed pretty good. I'd say maybe this would be for the something that you want to press in really good. Uh, this is the one thing that I 
definitely wanted is a fan brush because believe it or not, I do not. This is my first fan brush. Oh, look at it. Uh, the only thing I wish about this brush is that it was kind of maybe double the density of it. You know, I could see me putting on some highlight and I, I think it'll work good, but you know, if it was like about twice as thick and maybe a little bit wider, it would be even better. And now these ones come down to the eyeshadow brushes. Um, <clears throat> uh, this is kind of a rounded top doing the creases of your eyes. Uh, this seems to be somewhat in the family of that. Now this one's more of a a flat one for doing more of your lids, packing on shadow, really good. Uh, these guys here seem to be uh, a little bit more of the blenders. This one would probably be good to put on your highlight shadow under your brows. And this one would be a blender. Uh, I'd say this one would be a really tight, like once you've uh, done your crease with another one of these, like this one. Uh, let's see, like, no, this one would probably go in with your crease first and then go in with this crease. So, um, all in all, I think the collection is pretty sweet. I mean, you have black and red color scheme vampire brush set uh, with the unicorn spirally tips i mean you really can't go wrong and i think it's a good uh addition to anybody's brush set that kind of likes uh dark gothy things. It's a great uh, Halloween gift for your girlfriend or boyfriend if he wears makeup. Shout out to all the guys that wear makeup. Ah! <laughs> so yeah, it's a fun little collection. Not that expensive. And now that I've done the review, I can actually use them. I've, I've touched them a little bit. Uh, so far, I haven't seen any shedding, but I'll definitely let you know in a future video how they stand up to uh, makeup use, because I wanted to show you them clean. And yeah, it's definitely worth an investment. So get the get the Vampire brush set. They're pretty to look at. I think they're gonna be pretty versatile. I'll let you know what I use them for. And a new part of my videos that I'm gonna start adding is uh, shout outs. Uh, this one is going to be for the paraphernalia boutique that's in Arizona. Uh, this is their car. They let me and my friends shoot there. Uh, there was a little video up, so I'll put their website below. They have some really awesome, unique glasswares and stuff like that for uh, <coughs> smokers and stuff, if you know what I mean. And they were so nice. They let us shoot there. They gave me some stickers, which is going to go on my makeup case. And oh, <laughs> my hair is like sliding around. Ah! And they gave me a couple sticks of 
incense. I think there's only one left in this box, but I got some other ones that you'll see in an upcoming video. So, okay, it's getting that season of the year as I saw it on Facebook. Like, enjoy Friday the 13th, like, which is brewing vampires hunting so i hope you had a great friday the 13th and the october air is in the wind it's halloween season so get into the mood get some decorations up i especially love things that i can use throughout the season so go do your Halloween shopping and this is a 1-3 from Cinderville. Enjoy the darkness. I'll see you next moon. Bloody kisses.